morning and welcome to my channel, Mitla Yoga. I am Mitla. So, welcome to day two of 31 Days of Yoga. So, we're going to build on what we started yesterday. So, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell to make sure you don't miss anything. I hope you have some water available or in something comfortable. And let's get started. So we're going to start in child's pose. So again, resting pose is where we start and begin. So knees come to mat distance apart. Big toes come together at the back. Sit bones come down towards the heels. If you're not there yet, be with it. That's okay. Walk the hands out in front. And rest either on the chin or on the forehead. Jaw choice. Nice long deep breaths. Deep end to the core. And release with a big sigh. Oh. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Resetting the nervous system. Resetting the spine. This also resets the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite to fight and flight. to the knees, knees sit underneath the hips, hip distance apart, hands are underneath the shoulders. So again, we're going to do those warm-ups of the spine in the cat and cow like we did yesterday. So four fingers at 12 o'clock, spread out the fingers like a starfish, ground down through the four bundles of four corners of the hands, curl the fingertips so you feel the pads of the fingertips on the earth. Then ground down through the forefinger, the thumb, and the pinky finger. Inhale, drop the pelvis, gaze up, arch the spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. <clears throat> Again, inhale, up. Vitilasana or cow pose. Exhale to Ardha Madrasana or stretching cat. Three more, finding your own flow and pace of breath. And a reminder in yoga, if you move with breath, the body will move with grace and ease. And if at any time throughout your practice you feel a pain any deeper than a four to six out of ten, then please either come into a resting pose, which was the poses we did yesterday, or 
going to a pose that better suits your body. Reminder, I'm just here as a guide. Coming back to our resting tabletop. Okay, we're going to ground in through the right hand. We're going to inhale the left hand up. Exhale, so we thread the needle in front of the right wrist and rest down on the shoulder. So you'll find that your hips want to come over towards the side, bring them back to center, push down with the right hand so you feel that stretch in the shoulder and maybe along the side body and waist. Breathe. by pressing down in the left hand, feeling the stretch in the shoulder along the side body and the waist, breathe. So another heart opener, grounding down through the elbows. So hips this time are above the knees. So it's kind of like child's pose, but not. So we're actually in shisho asana, which is puppy pose or heart opener. So you can either rest on your forehead or if you can have nice open shoulders, you can rest on your chin, your choice, breathe. Mindfully raise the head up, start to push forwards in the hips, come heavy on the elbows, and then come down through into our sphinx pose. So here we come heavy in the pelvis, allow the hips to sink down, relax the glutes. So grinding down through the hands and the lower arms and elbows, pull the shoulders back and down, slight tuck in the chin, gazes forwards, breathe. So in this pose, if you have any lower back issues, engage the glutes. Now if you don't have lower back issues, allow the glutes to relax. Again, if you have lower back issues, you can either bring your feet to that distance apart, will give you a little bit of a release in the back. And then slowly go all the way down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. So from here, we're going to keep the elbows tight to the rib cage, engaging through the legs. We're going to inhale, take the chest up to baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale as we 
Engage through the arms, taking the arms up straight. This time I let the elbows face forward, shoulders pull back and down, full cobra. Exhale, release. And again, hands come back a little bit further back the rib cage this time. Elbows stay close to the rib cage. Inhale to engage the legs, push in through the feet and come up to upward facing dog. Exhale. So when we go through the sun salutations, you can do either one of the three poses I just showed you. So from here, curl under the toes, push up through the chest, coming back onto the knees. And then from here, we're gonna curl under the toes, push the sit bones up towards the sky, and come heavy in the heels, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Savanasana. Again, walk with the dog as it's the first dog of the day, so one knee comes in towards the chest, and then the other. And breathe. And then rest your heels down towards the earth. So again, reminder, if you're not in this triangle shape yet, just be with your body, not forcing. You can bend the knees deeply, Allowing the chest to come towards the thighs, feeling the opening in the shoulders here. Breathe. And then from here, we're just going to come high up onto the soles of the feet. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale down, gaze forwards, bend the knees deeply, step, walk or jump to Uttanasana, forward fold. So again, setting up in our forward fold, feet are hip distance apart, micro bend in the knees, and then wherever your hands fall, eventually they may hit the earth, and if they don't, just be where you are, nodding the head chest, shaking the head no. Inhale to flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. So again, neck stays in line with the spine. Shoulders pull back and down, micro bend those knees. Breathe. Exhale, release. Inhale to bend the knees deeply, reverse dive. Palms come all the way up, engage the legs, tuck in the pelvis. Nice open heart, shoulders pull back and down as we reach the arms overhead. And down through heart center to Dasana Namaskar. Breathe. So hands in prayer in mountain pose. So a reminder again, this is a resting pose. If at any time throughout your practice you need to rest, you can come here. You can come to child's pose, which is where we started. Shavasana or down dog. So anything that speaks to you. Ground in. Feel the energy in your feet. Maybe spreading out the toes. Engagement through the legs, slight tuck in the pelvis, nice open heart pull, shoulders back and down, slight tuck in the chin. Maybe center in here, come to your intention for the day, your sankalpa, your why, or your why you show up to your mat. Breathe. And then we're just going to go through the sun salutation. So this energizes the body. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands down. Bend the knees deeply, gaze forward, step the quad jump to downward dog. So we're just going to do a basic sun salutation flow today. And then come forwards to knees. Chest and chin, low down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Come back through, curl under the toes, take the chest up, back onto the knees, back to down dog. And breathe. Inhale, gaze forward, step, or pull, jump to Uttanasana, fold in. Mind and micro bend those knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale as we come all the way up. Engage the legs, tuck in the pelvis, nice open heart. Hands reach overhead. Exhale through heart center. Inhale. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands down. Set, walk or jump back to down dog. Then breathe. Inhale, float through to knees, chest and chin. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Keeping the elbows tight to the rib cage. Inhale to full cobra. Eyes the elbows face forward. Shoulders pull back and down. Exhale, release. Curl under the toes. And push up from the chest, the knees, back to downward facing dog. Breathe. Adho Mukha Savanasana. Inhale as you bend the knees deeply. Step walk or jump to Uttanasana. Fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale as we bend the knees deeply, coming all the way up. Maybe this time with a slight back bend. Exhale, through heart center. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Again, step up or jump back to plank this time. Holding the plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Float through to knees, chest, and chin for your form of vinyasa. Inhale as we engage through the legs and push up to upward facing dog. Exhale, flow through to down facing dog, your choice. Inhale as you bend the knees deeply, step, walk or jump to Uttanasana. Fold in. Inhale, flat back, don't forget to microphone the knees. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming all the way up. Slight back bend. Exhale through heart center. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply. Gaze forward. Step up or jump back to plank. And again, holding the plank here. Five, four, three, two, and one, and float through your form of vinyasa, your form of back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to bend the knees deeply, step up or jump to Uttanasana, fold in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale as you bend the knees deeply, coming all the way up. Slight back bend. Exhale through heart center to Dasana Namaskar. So we're just going to finish today in mountain, a resting pose. So wherever you want to be, have hands at heart center, maybe flutter the eyes closed or rest with your gaze about two or three feet ahead, or allow your hands to fall out to the sides. So engage through the four corners of the feet, spread out the toes, engage through the legs, slight tuck of the pelvis, nice open palm, pull the shoulders back and down, arms come to the sides, and breathe, come back to your why, your sankalpa, your intention you may have set for yourself today. Or maybe if you don't have a sankalpa, just being grateful for three things in your life. Back to the breath, like calling a small child back from play. Nice long inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, side up. Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. So I just wanted to show you the basic flow again, but adding on to some salutations. So tomorrow we will go a little bit deeper and we'll start doing some standing poses. But I just wanted to show you the basics of yoga, of what you might find in a yoga practice. So for those people that are new, welcome. For those people that are regular practitioners, we're just going to be doing some beginner to intermediate classes in this 31 days of yoga. So. 
whilst you're resting, I just want to share that little bit of information with you. So staying in Tadasana, so the sun salutations basically warm up the body, they warm up the gut, the core, and they get you prepared for your practice. So it warms up and releases any energy that you may have stuck within the body. So it's really good practice to do, so it feels energizing. So you should feel some nice warmth in your hands as you rest into Dasana. Again, make sure your eyes are closed or rest with your gaze about to your complete head or chest. Breathe. Allow your body to come back to nice, easy, gentle breathing. As we allow some peace in our practice, allow the benefits of our practice to nurture our body. Slowing the breath down. Relaxing the shoulders, releasing the jaw, allowing the tongue to release from the roof of the mouth, relaxing your arms, relaxing from the crown of your head to the base of your spine, relaxing your torso, relaxing your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and just come heavy in the heels, coming ground. Imagining roots coming up through your feet, coming up through your legs, through your hips, up through your torso, out through your shoulders, down your arms as they come out the fingertips and out the crown of your head. Now imagining those roots turning white, like a bright light, embracing your whole being. And breathe to settle. Down through front center. Again, raise the arms overhead. And we're going to just swan dive down to seated. Finishing off. So you can either come back to kneeling, easy sukhasana, or half lotus, full lotus, whichever you choose. So again, keeping the eyes closed, hands come back to heart center. Light tuck in the chin. Inhale the hands up. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Smite tuck in the chin coming into prayer. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you awaken to the light of your one true nature. Namaste. Thank you everybody for sharing in our practice today. I hope you enjoyed this short flow. If you did, please hit the like button or thumbs up. And if you haven't hit subscribe already, it's just there. Okay, so hit the notification if these flows speak to you so that you don't miss anything. It is an absolute honor to share with you on this journey and I hope to see you again tomorrow, day three. Okay, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Namaste.